Google executives Larry Page and Eric Schmidt and filmmaker James Cameron are among those bankrolling a venture to survey and eventually extract precious metals and rare minerals from asteroids that orbit near Earth. Planetary Resources, based in Washington, initially will focus on developing and selling extremely low-cost robotic spacecraft for surveying missions. A demonstration mission in orbit around Earth is expected to be launched within two years. Planetary Resources' aim is to open deep space exploration to private industry. So today, I am very proud, along with my colleagues here on stage, to be announcing Planetary Resources. Uh, the vision of Planetary Resources is to make the resources of space available to humanity both in space and here on Earth. Whether it's propellant from water on asteroids or strategic metals and minerals that are, are important to promoting and creating a world of abundance here on Earth. Planet Resources' first customers are likely to be science agencies such as NASA, as well as private research institutes. Within five to ten years, however, the company expects to progress from selling observation platforms in orbit around Earth to prospecting services. It plans to tap some of the thousands of asteroids that pass relatively close to Earth and extract their raw materials. Not all missions would return precious metals and minerals to Earth. In addition to mining for platinum and other precious metals, the company plans to tap asteroids' water to supply orbiting fuel deposits, which could be used by NASA and others for robotic and human space missions. What can we do with these materials that are represented by this meteorite knowledge? We can extract water, as we've mentioned, by heating this material gently to a few hundred degrees. It just comes right out of the clay materials. We can distill it and tank it back to Earth moon space for use here in exploration. Uh, we can also use the bulk dirt on these asteroids for radiation shielding, and we can use the metals for structural materials as we get more ambitious in the use of these raw materials in space. Planetary Resources Advisor Thomas Jones continued. Commercial sector has the ability to build multiple, simple, small spacecraft that can access these objects. We can accept f failures in a way that the government's uh, very expensive scientific spacecraft would not, would not like to accept failure or risk. And they can mount these spacecraft missions, the commercial sector, uh, at a higher pace or a faster pace than the once per decade science missions that NASA is able to afford. The two men declined to discuss how much money had been raised for their venture so far. Marisa Christian, IB Times TV.